We go to the third inning at City Field. R.A. Dickey and Jeremy Bonderman locked in a scoreless duel. And man in between us, I think, needs no introduction. That would be Jerry Seinfeld. I would like an introduction. You could give me one. <laughs> I could. Well, every performer wants an introduction. The most iconic performer of his time. Oh, please finish your thought. <laughs> Hello, Seinfeld. <What? laughs> this is a gigantic thrill and an honor for me. But let's get back to the game. Are you going to do some play-by-play -play today or what? Sure. Well, you know what? That's the first thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about, first of all, I'm really a, a little upset that Ronnie's not here. Because this is like I'm working with Groucho and Chico and this is no Harpo. <laughs> Where's Harpo? Could be worse. We could have brought in Zeppo. <laughs> Meanwhile, we tease the people about Lady Gaga. Yes. And I've got my David Wright go Gaga for David Finger. So, right. This so. is the correct finger. Right. And that we wanted to what they were show to out, Lady Gaga. Giving let, out tonight. let me tell you what happened there, why I got upset. I didn't really get upset, first of all. Now, I think I, it's fair to say that we're all big fans of Lady Gaga. Lame, out of it, white guys in their <laughs> mid-50s is her core audience. But I'm very protective of my Met fans. I love my Met fans. And I, I, did, not like, uh, I did not like the finger. I thought it was a little disrespectful. Yeah, it was disrespectful. She's a guest. A guest in our in our in our podcast. And so, you're sweet. And yeah. Well, she was in front row seats. Yeah. And she was upset with that. Well, we don't understand the kids today <laughs> and the music business. Maybe that's that's uh, maybe you know I'm sure we'll all be bigger fans now that she's cursed us out. It's been ever thus, right? Yes, that's the way it works. Chris Carlin and Adam Shine will have a preview of tomorrow's Mets Tiger series finale. Oh boy. As they agree to disagree. We don't have enough yelling on TV, don't no. you think? On all the top New York sports stories of the day, on the next Loudmouths, presented by Geico. What is the Geico ad campaign? They got the frog, the caveman, and the two eyes on the stack of cash. Can we figure out which one is the actual? We don't even know where the gecko's from. We don't know. He Weekdays at 6, only on SNY. And that's a fly ball to center, Johnny Damon. Is that Johnny Damon in center? Sure is. What is he doing out there? Get him in! He can't cover that much ground. <laughs> Let alone his arm. He looks good. Oh, he's got a new, he's sporting a new hairstyle there. You can actually see his neck. And here comes Jeff Frank T. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every tooth is a hit. Do you think Jerry made the right decision in not helping Keith move? Say for yes, say for no. <laughs> Obviously, no. Or visit SNY.TV. No, who the hell was I? I was a, 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 low, a lowly comic in the show. I wasn't Jerry Seinfeld, the guy with the TV show. I was, just a, I was just a kid with a starting out but, in comedy. But and you I had, I could have had a real friendship. But you had your self-respect. Nah, what's that worth? <laughs> I tried to move on his girl, too. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't very nice. That's okay. <laughs> no, she wasn't my girlfriend. <laughs> David Wright making a nice 360 put out of first base. You could do this, you know. I think I am doing it. You're good. <laughs> I can't really do it because if anything was really happening, I would get so excited I couldn't talk. There's nothing wrong with falling asleep, by the way, on the job. Let me just say that. Because when a guy's head hits the desk, you know. You are getting every last nickel out of that guy. He is working as hard as he can. At least he didn't sleep under the desk like Costanza. <laughs> that was a good episode. I like that. There are a lot yeah, of all I wanted to, to ask you, could George have worked for the Mets? No. No. George had to work for the Yankees because it was a better mismatch. That was the last place he belonged, is, was with a button-down organization. Okay, this was fantastic. This was an honor. It was Thank an honor to be a part of your booth. It really was. Thank you very much for inviting me. Well, uh, the Ralph Kiner broadcast booth has been enlivened by your presence tonight. Thanks, Thank you. Guys. Come back and do it again. I will. Thanks, Thank Gary. You. Thanks, Matt fans.